Hello ladies and gentlemen, of course it's me again, let's play FB Games back with some more Euro 2016 simulation. I thought I'd uh, switch up the intro a little bit there. I feel like that referee is Spanish, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly back out and then come back in again. I feel like that referee has a Spanish name, so there we go. <laughs> That's a bit better. Loic Daquigny, I don't know how to pronounce that, but he sounds French, so it's even better. It means we have to change the burn about back to the stage though. But this is the second round of 16 match. If you guys haven't seen the first round of 16 match between Switzerland and Northern Ireland, I don't want to spoil it for you, so if you want to click off now, go quickly, click off and go watch that video. I'll give you five seconds. Right, so the result of that match was, in fact, a 3-1 victory for Switzerland, which means they will head through to the quarterfinals, and the winner of this match will head through to face Switzerland in the quarterfinals. But will it be Austria or will it be Spain? We're going to find out right away. Well, David did beat Goliath, and that's the challenge Austria have today against Spain. A massive challenge. Spain, one of the best nations in the world. Austria have got some very good quality players, but not nearly on the same class as Spain. It's kind of bad to say, but it's true. Kind of jazzy version of the UK national anthem. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve. Alan, you had the honour of playing for England, and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. One of the venues for the France World Cup in 1998, the home of Lyon, the Stade Gerland. It's a fairly modest affair when, when you look at it, but they've certainly seen their fair share of success here. Looking back to Leon's glory days. Talking more about a stadium than the actual match that's taking place. Place? Oh my god, I said place. I'm freaking. I don't know why I said place, I meant place. I don't know actually what happened to my mouth then. But yeah, they're talking more about a stadium than the match that's actually taking place. That referee looks old. He is the French referee though. And uh, this time, Spain switching up their squad a little bit. Vincente Del Bosque uh, deciding to play Paco Alcacer to start up front for Spain here today. Will that be an inspired decision? Who knows? Diego Costa is on the bench if Spain do need to score it desperately though. Austria is now Alaba out on the left mid, bringing Arnautovic into the left centre mid spot. It's a very strong squad from both teams. And of course Austria will kick off this match at the Stade Jolland. But will we see what happened in the last game? In the last game between Switzerland and Northern Ireland, the score was 3-1. But the first three goals, two of Switzerland's and the one from Northern Ireland, came within the first nine minutes. Will we see some quick goals here in this match? Or will it take some time to get some goals? Oh, Casillas saving well there from Janusovic. Austria almost pulled ahead there, shockingly. Alcacer beating Baumgartling into the ball. David Silva back to Alcacer. He hasn't had real much of a chance to shine this tournament so far. I believe he has scored one goal, though. Oh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't scored any yet. <laughs> but Diego Costa, I believe, is the tournament's top scorer with five goals. He's been given a break here. But uh, he will probably be substituted on later on in the game. Juan Fran to Alcacer here. Back into Juan Fran. David Silva maybe called offside there. No, he's onside. But it will be Spanish throwing here as Dragovic puts a tackle in. Juan Fran. Alaba gets it clear. Juan Fran this time to Iniesta. David Silva. Juan Fran Iniesta. Those Spain boys playing the Barcelona style of football. Alcacer. Gets the ball taken off him by Janusovic. Baumgartlinger now. 
Arnautovic attacking. No Alaba. Just put my control on my desk. Whose birthday is it today? I swear it said someone's birthday today. David Silva. Juan Fran. I believe they said it was Alaba's birthday today. Anyway, Iniesta. Juan Fran. Paco Alcacer. Stopped by Hinteregger, who scored the own goal in the group stages. Imagine to put it the right way this time. Nil nil so far. Paco Alcacer has got a good chance to run through here. He's managed to get past, but Hinteregger has got it clear as far as Jordi Alba. Barcelona that left back, of course. Juan Fran looking for Alcacer. It's cleared well by Fuchs and Dragovic and it will be a throw in to Spain here Silva. David Silva now to Iniesta back to Silva the nice one too between Spanish teammates Juan Fran picking out Alcacer Iniesta to Ramos Cazorla Iniesta Isco now not really been involved in the game too much and he has to play it out to his Barcelona teammate Jordi Alba here, who could whip in across here instead of passing it to Isco, who whips in across and is cleared by Hinteregger. Will they throw into Spain? Jordi Alba looking to take it quick. It was not a smart move there as Hanix intercepted and Mark Janko could make Spain pay here. Alba clearing up his mistakes and it's come to Cazorla here. Dragovic for Austria. 22 minutes in, almost 23 minutes in, and there's still yet to be a goal here. Yet to really be a clear-cut chance as well, apart from the very first one that Austria had from Janusovic, which Casillas saved without too much bother. Kozala, tackled by Klein. And this could be Casillas' last Euro, to Euro uh, tournament, as he is getting on in age, so that's why I'm starting him more than I'm starting De Gea. Alcacer... Alaba with the tackle on David Silva, Mark Janko out to Alaba, the most well-known Austrian player. Klein now, try to cut in, Busquets getting across, it's calling to Janko, Juan Fran gets it clear. Alaba receiving the throw in here and it's a very, well, I thought it was going to be uh, foul there on Alaba, but Juan Fran appears to have shoulder barged him down there. Iniesta. Cazorla picking out Isco. Austria have been pretty sloppy in defence here, letting the Spanish players break through. Iniesta. Alcacer. Cazorla. Try to get, use his skills to get around both Austrian players there. Janusovic has come out of the... Situation with the ball here and Baumgartlinger. It may be a counter attack, but Spain managed to get back in time to stop any real damage. Cazala now in possession for Spain. Passes it off to Iniesta. The Barcelona midfielder, world famous for his passing. Iniesta, David Silva, tackled by Alaba. Now one for getting it clear on his Ferris Fuchs. Or Fuchs. Depends on how you want to say it. I'm going to say Fuchs because then it sounds more posh. Interregger now is playing around with the ball here. Charging quite far forward for a centre back. Harnik now has picked up on the loose ball for Austria here. Back to Fuchs. Mark Janko now. Jordi Alba, and what if Austria get a shock victory here? That's the end of Spain's campaign. Spain were initially thought of, the, uh, thought of as the favourites. So if they lose here, if they just lose to Austria here and go out of the round of 16, imagine how they would feel. I don't know why the clock's uh, like been blurred out, but I don't, I, I don't know. Anyway, Harnik to Fuchs. Fuchs way out of position, but it's come to Harnik once again. And maybe a cross in, Kazala. Getting it clear, Fuchs is going to take the throw. Who's he going to give it to? Looking to launch it long to Janko. It's cleared out by Ramos with an incredible header from the Real Madrid defender. 
And now Spain doing what they do best, passing the ball around. Klein collecting the ball. It will be half time. I couldn't tell because the clock has been blurred out for most of the game, much so why. But it is half time here. And it's nil nil between Spain and Austria. Completely different to the Switzerland Northern Ireland game. Few chances, but no real clear cut opportunities. There's a chance there. There's been a couple of possibilities. I believe that was. <laughs> That's the only highlight of the half. They're just replaying it over and over again. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to head into the second half now. Hopefully, there'll be more chances. There was only one shot in that whole half, and that was from Janusovic after three minutes. That must make for a boring game for you guys to watch, and I apologise. We're going to head into the second half now. Hopefully, we'll see some more action. Iniesta, David Silva. We definitely need some more action from the Spanish side of things. They've not even had a shot, let alone a goal, which I would have expected by this point from a team like Spain. Cazola, there it is. If you're going to open a scoring, open it in style. Santi Cazola. Must have heard me talking because he said, you need a goal. All right, I'll provide it. And Cazola scores a beauty from range. That is a beautiful goal. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't know if Cazola meant that, but it's off the underside of the bar and it's gone in. That's a beautiful finish from the Arsenal centre attacking midfielder. It's 1 0 now. And it's Stade Jolon. Austria need to try and come back here now. Arnautovic, tackled by Isco. Isco's got plenty of passing opportunities here, deciding to go alone. Maybe the best idea here for the Real Madrid midfielder, Paco Alcacer. Blaze off to no one in particular. Arsovic with the interception. I believe he was trying to lay it off to, uh, I don't know, I won't tell you sure, but Alcacer. Tackled by Baumgartlinger. Substitution, but I'm not sure for which team. But the substitution is being lined up as we speak. Baumgartlinger keeping possession here for Austria. Shouldn't really be doing that. Should really be looking to go forward for a goal. Busquets tackles Baumgartlinger, but Baumgartlinger getting the ball back. Try to hold up the play. Alcacer. Busquets. Continued the run here. Looking to play Iniesta in. It's Klein has come across well there, and there will be some substitutions made. One from both teams, Iniesta making way for Cesc Fabregas and Arnautovic coming off for Kavlak. Now the cross in from David Silva. I'm not sure why it's not showing the time there, I'll sort that out in a second. Isco. Alba. Busquets. Just do that, see if that changes anything. There we go, now we can see the clock. I don't know what's happening with that clock, it's been a bit weird. But anyway, Fuchs, or Fuchs, sorry. Ramos trying to head her above Janko. Janko heads it back to Kavlak here for Austria. Baumgartlinger looking to make some space. Alcacer with a tackle. Alcacer has had some pretty good moments in this match, but he hasn't had that killer instinct in front of goal that Diego Costa has. So far throughout the Euros. Baumgartling again across. Perfect ball to Janko. Who's got options here. Not the fastest of players, Mark Janko. But a very prolific goal scorer. Baumgartling again the ball back. Kazala. Again the tackle in the goal scorer now. Working in defence. Isco now. Fabregas. Holding up the ball here. Looking for options. There isn't many. He decides to go back to Alba. Fabregas into Cazola and Cazola scored again Santi Cazola we don't need Costa Jesus Christ Santi Cazola here has made it 2-0 to Spain all the Austrians thought it was offside decided not to go for it but Cazola made them pay here and it is 2-0 now to Spain the goalkeeper must be so annoyed with his team Santi Cazola put into the far, uh, far side of the net. I think he maybe will pass it into Alcacer, but no. Cazola going alone. 
Congratulations to Spain, now 2-0 lead here. Yellow card from the referee to Brown Gatlinger there. I didn't quite see that, I was taking a drink, so I apologise for that. Not really much in it. I wouldn't really say yellow. Just caught him a little bit by accident. And Alcacer is going to make way for Diego Costa. Alcacer not with the best of games. Diego Costa is going to come on and do what he does best and maybe get a third goal for Spain here. Bear with me, guys. I'm not sure why the timer's doing that. I don't know why it's been so weird. But maybe it's just how the stage alone works. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, Janusovic. Keeping possession. Baumgartlinger now coming forward. Yellow card for Baumgartlinger earlier on in the match. Needs to be careful where he's throwing his tackles. Harnik has completely messed that pass up. Throw in there. East go now with possession. Forward to Costa, I believe. Losing it out. Janusovic. Janko. May strike back for Austria here. PK getting it clear. And there will be a substitution here. I'm not going to bother with the clock again if it's gone blurred out. I'll just tell you guys what it's... Well, I'll assume what it says. I can't, be, I can't be bothered with it. 73 minutes, it says at the moment. Alaba. Is it going to be a free kick to Spain? It is indeed. Free kick to Spain here is PK. Sharp passes it to Wanfran. Fabregas now. Kozala, Busquets. Fabregas looking to make it three, possibly here. Dragovic making the tackle. And it's very well cleared in the end. Ramos back to PK. PK and Ramos might be from Barcelona and Real Madrid separately. But when it comes to internationals, they are the best of friends. Isco, Busquets, Hinteregga blocks it, and it's come to Alma. The Austrian goalkeeper here. PK in possession now. Baumgartling, I believe Busquets was also involved in that tangle up. David Silva, Diego Costa, Fabregas. Back to Kazala. 1 2 with Fabregas here. Fabregas ends up on his ass. And Fuchs can bring it away. Janusovic, Kavlak, Baumgartlinger, PK getting across well. David Silva, Busquets, it looks like someone may have pulled something there. I'm not sure who it is. It's Santi Cazala, pulled something, I believe. Still his hamstring and with just four and a half minutes of game time left I don't think Spain will be moving quickly to bring anyone else on. Isco, but it's come to Busquets, Isco now. Kozala on a hat-trick, if they pass it through to him he could get his hat-trick. Instead Fabregas going to look to go alone, Janusovic getting across. And it looks as if Austria will be going out the round of 16, impressive campaign by Austria's standards. Impressive to get through as as well, and to be honest, I'm gonna be I'll, I'll be brutally honest here as uh, Austria attack Janusovic Akoti coming up for Janko. Oh, some chances there. It will be a corner, but the reason Austria got through is because they managed to defeat the, the who was it? They managed to defeat Iceland. On the last group stage game, and it only just defeated Iceland as well. Anyway, one matter is going to come on for Isco here. We're literally on the 90 minute mark. It's going to be our last chance of the game. Janusovic. Busquets clears the danger, although there's not really much danger. Spain, though, have got this in hand. Janusovic. One front heads it clear, and Costa. He's just going to take his time bringing it out of. Uh, Harms way here. Harnik with a tackle, and we know that Spain are going to be the ones to face Switzerland in the next round. 
quarterfinals. It would be Switzerland versus Spain, our first confirmed quarterfinal. So I'll write that down just so I can remember. Spain 2, Austria 0. It was a little bit slow paced in the first half, but Spain really came into their element that second half. And Cazola getting both goals. The first goal was very impressive, in off the underside of the crossbar. The second goal, not well, it was pretty good. He made the space for himself, a beautiful through ball, I believe, from Alcacer. And um, there was a second goal, and it was 2 0. We'll see the goals again. There's Cazola's first. And he is Cazola's second. Congratulations to Spain. I'm sure Alaba's little foul on Fabregas. That's really a highlight, isn't it? These are all these are all big highlights. They're all massive highlights. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Spain will advance to the quarterfinals, like I've said a couple of times now, against Switzerland. We'll see the man of the match here. Man of the match was Juan Fran. This is pretty surprising. Jordi Alba and Santi Cazala also with high ratings as well. Ramos with a 7.1. As for Austria, the man of the match for Austria was Arnautovic with a 6.2. All the Klein and Janusovic were up there as well. Not a brilliant performance by Austria, but I think the result was what everyone expected. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Let's Play for Begins with Match 38. Uh, of my Euro 2016 simulation. The second round of 16 match is done. We've got six more rounds of 16 matches to go, followed by the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and eventually the final. But I hope you guys are enjoying the simulation so far. Hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy what's to come. Uh, I'll see you next time for whatever I record. And uh, yeah, goodbye for now.